right, this is the instructional part of the uh, of the video for uh, this awesome song, Surrender to Love. Um, this one was written uh, and performed by Larry Campbell and uh, Teresa Williams. Um, put out a great record a few years ago when this was on there. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know who they are, check them out. Uh, Larry Campbell is... Uh, a mind-blowing musician uh, who's played with one of those guys who's played with everything and he plays everything um, now the way I got the sound is uh, I went directly into my early 70s silver face Princeton reverb um, and uh, put a little bit of tremolo on there uh, cranked it up and uh, and went for it so uh, Without further ado, let's uh, check out how to play this, or at least how I play this. Um, I picked up a number of uh, different things here and there from the original recording and also from uh, just uh, perusing YouTube and, uh, and uh, kind of studying what uh, Mr. Campbell does. Um, he plays with a thumb pick and fingers, and uh, it's like this super duper crazy technique that uh, I don't uh, I don't do so some of the bass stuff I may miss or just not able to play uh, because I don't play with a thumb pick but uh, this is my version you know, made for uh, sort of a, a hybrid picking style so here we go um, the intro riff is you know, as a lot of the song is is built on a E sus chord We've got to play that chord. We've got open six, and then we've got second fret open, and then second fret on the third string. Everything else is open. And anyway, he plays the intro. Hammer on the third. Do that first low E. I'll do that again. down through that, down through that E7 chord, right. Now you can see all the ins and outs of this. Uh, I did a, um, I transcribed it and, and put a version in tab form and you can find that on my website at jonathantorgrimson.com. All right, so again, that's the intro. Here comes the primary groove of the song, right? And he's, we start off with the low E, and then we grab the E and the B string, a little chord stab. Now we've got that sus chord again. And this is the riff here. I'm pinching, uh, fifth and third, and I grab the second string open. There's a bunch of there's a different different variations different fills and things that uh, Mr. Campbell plays on uh, in between the groove there and and here's one and and that's a little minor pentatonic hammer on the second fret of the fifth string open fourth so second from the fifth grab the third fret of the sixth string. Back to the groove. All right, here's another one that he does. Another fill that falls in between, and that is... So again, the hammer on the B on the A string, to the open fourth string, and then he hammers on the chord itself. So fourth and third string. So just hammering 
down on that chord. So that's the groove, uh, the primary groove on the one chord here, which is E. Um, and then when we go to the four chord, the A, we've got this little fill, or I should say a little bass run. So if I'm playing, to the A, so I got that A, A7 chord. Now here, we're going to make use of that suspension again, and we've got, so I'm grabbing that A7, that's second fret on the fourth string. 2nd fret on the 2nd string. I would say it's like an open A with a hole in the middle. And for the, to add the, uh, the, the suspension here, that to make it a sus chord for a moment, there we've got our 4th finger and we're grabbing that 3rd fret. So we've got... And then this little fill. Just, we're just arpeggiating the chord here. It's fourth string, the open third string, so again, and then this little bass, so it's open E, back to this, so that A riff is, Got another minor E minor pentatonic little riff here that leads into an E chord, and again, it's a hammer on the second fret of the fifth string to the open fourth string, back to that second fret of the fifth string, and we've got to the third fret of the sixth string, and open E chord, so it ends up and then just an A chord back into it. So, okay, now, that next move, I just stopped right before that next move, right before the five chord, which is at B7. Way we play a B7 here, right? We've got our second. Every most every, most of it is on the second fret. We've got, <coughs> excuse me, the second fret of the fifth string, then the second fret of the third string, then the second fret of the first string, and then with our first finger we grab this D sharp on the first fret of the fourth string. And with this. Now the way we get into this from the E. got the riff that we had played earlier, but now what we do is hammer on the D sharp. So setting us up for that B7 chord. Now here's this little riff in there. We've got a, a Bass line here is root five, root five, and B to F sharp. Now what we play. Now that we're grabbing the D, it's third fret on the second string with our pinky. All the while playing that bass, that bass, uh, <clears throat> that bass line here. Okay, I'll do it slow. All right, there it is. Then the next move to the A chord, and then they've got this little fill. He's got this little fill here. No, oh. and we're going. 
my little finger on the fifth uh, fret of the first string, then my second finger on, my, on the third fret of the first string, and then I'm getting out of the way, and I'm playing those top two notes of the A chord, so I hit it. So from that B7, now we got another one of those E minor pentatonic riffs. finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, first finger on the second fret of the third string, and then your, your second finger on the third fret of the second string, but we're barring, so that's our D, we open it up for the A. This next part's a transitional part. When we go back to uh, when we're at the end of a section, he plays the intro. Just like the intro. Um, however, right before the bridge, um, and as you'll see in the in the performance on the same video, uh, what I did is I went right to the bridge. So after that D to A, we build on that E. Now I sort of cheat a little bit here and I grab the E chord of my second, third, and fourth strings in preparation for this climb because we're going to get into the bridge here. And it's... So I'm playing the E and then we're just climbing to an F. So it's F, F sharp, G. Yeah. Now what's, what's going to happen here is we're going to go back and forth between the E and G. So this is climbing into the G. To E, just par chords, and back again. Working up chromatically. Then we're going to jump to the an E bar chord here on the seventh fret. That's our standard root on the fifth string bar chord. And we're going to go chromatically down to D. Now he plays this um, sort of 60s soul slash Hendrixy kind of where we're barring. We've got that D here, and we got some hammer on. D with the third on the bottom, so I'm barring that triad that looks, you know, looks like an A. Barring that triad, and then my third finger is grabbing the third of the chord here, and I can also bar it at the seventh fret here, so I can get that ha hammer onto that third. So. It's So again, that bridge. Uh, and now we go to A. And now we're into the uh, First guitar player is the frightening portion of the song. I mean, it's been hard enough already. But he does this breakdown, 
um, that starts off with just guitar and the rhythm section comes back in. It's kind of this swampy, almost um, Jerry Reed type thing. Um, and again, here, here's where the thumb pick really comes in handy. Now what, what I'm doing is uh, doing the best I can to get as many of those bass notes with my pick as I can. But um, So here goes. So the, the, that transition in there is the A. And what we've got is... I missed it the first time. He plays these little fills. So now this is kind of looks like if it were an E7. And we've got, we've got these two notes that would be of this sort of E7 chord, which some of us may know. Um, but if you don't, what it is, it's you've got the third of the chord here, which is at the sixth fret of the fourth string. All right. And then we've got the flat seventh here at the seventh fret of the third string. And we're playing, and we're going to slide into it. And then we grab, so, grab with an upstroke that the first and second strings. So, and we've got these cool double stops here. A little minor pentatonic. So what I'm playing. You know, if you want to take it, I, I'm grabbing this shape here with my, so first finger on the second fret of the third string, third fret of the second string, third fret of the first string, and I grab second and third first. So I'm grabbing second and third, then open. So. And then I've got this flat five so that's a little blue note here so third fret and I'm going to slide back to second fret and then pull off so and then we're back to this little shape here second fret on the third string third string oh, I'm sorry third fret on the second string so I, yeah, let's see it's Hard to piece this all together, but so it's we've got a hammer on on the third, so we hammer onto that. So and then a hammer on the fifth, second fret. Then hit the same thing on the fourth string. So. Yeah. Again, slowly. All right. Little mistakes are free of charge. <laughs> A lot of times, this stuff is hard to. <laughs> gets harder when you slow it down. Uh, but uh, all right. So again, that's back to this little. Now we got. So again, we're grabbing the A on the third string, the D on the second string, but we're going to leave this first string open. And it... So I'm grabbing that double stop and then with an upstroke. I'm grabbing again the first and second strings. That is this really cool thing where he goes. Where he slides this little double stop. It's almost we're, 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 we're implying an A chord. So. And then when we slide those double stops, they're both on, on the same frets. So first and second string, fifth fret, slide back to the to the third fret again. Same double stop, same shape. So it's 
Now what, what he does with his thumb pick, but I'm doing this with my flat pick here, is sliding and grabbing that open A. And then gets the G here. So it just imply that G chord. And then we, we go to, to the first and second strings open. Let's see if I can do this slow. And then we go back to that bottom, low E. that you know we keep coming back to this this the third and the seventh of the chord that riff again now this is a cool part this is the transition that turns us around and brings us back to, to, to play it the second time and this is these are thirds okay and now we, we start with Fourth fret on the fourth string, uh, fifth fret on the fifth string, and we move that up a whole step to the seventh and the sixth fret, and we, and all the all the while we're playing that low E that we're we're letting that is a pedal tone. So that's the next move here. We've got. The uh, seventh fret of the fourth string. Again, we're, we're playing in thirds here, and then we've got the ninth fret of the fifth string. So again, it's. Now we're going to take this same shape and bring it down to the second fret. So we got second and fourth fret. Now we got that minor third to, to major third thing here. I grabbed the, the whole E chord. So again, we'll do that again. Now there's a bunch of little variations or things like that, little hammer-ons and pull-offs on again on that on that minor pentatonic. So we got it again and the drums come in and percussion and all that yeah same same thing Second time they go to the A chord. And then we're back and we are uh, essentially going over some of the same, uh, <clears throat> same, some of the same riffs and things, most of the same riffs and things that we've already gone over previously. Um, so again, this is just my way of playing the song. Um, you can check out Larry Campbell playing it with his uh, his wife and partner in crime. Uh, there's a bunch of great YouTube videos of him playing this song. Uh, he's a really just a mind-blowing musician, and uh, you know anything I can uh, I can steal from him will be uh, would be well worth it, and probably well worth your time as well. Again, remember that um, if you like this lesson, there'll, there'll be uh, more to come, and and. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. And you can also check out my website, uh, jonathantorgrimson.com. You can hear some of my music there. Um, and you can also download backing tracks and um, or request backing tracks. And you can also download tabs uh, to this lesson and, uh, and lessons to come. 
So again, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, leave them below and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Alrighty, take care.